before you get started with quotes, there's a little bit of homework I want you to do in the setup. Let's go and take a look at it. Okay, a couple of things we want to look at before we start with quotes. So settings, general settings, scroll down to invoice settings, and then let's go to the default settings. A couple of things relating to quotes down at the bottom. The quote prefix, so if we're quite happy with it to start with QU, we can leave that and what the next quote number is going to be. So if you're just starting off with quotes and you're happy to start off with a one, then that's fine, you can put one in there. And then the second thing on quotes is the quote expiry date. What's the standard that you want for your quote? So here we've got a quote, we expect it, the expiry to be 14 days after the quote date. There's a drop down and you can choose different options. Happy with that? All you do is click save. Second thing we want to do is we want to create a template for our quotes. When you start in zero, you will only have one template and it's called standard. So what you would do is you would go to the standard, you go to options and you would copy it. I've already done that so I will show you I've copied it and I've named it as quote. Then we would go into it and we get the chance to edit. Similar to editing for a sales invoice, you've got flexibility, not a lot, but a bit on margins, font sizes, font type, and then the titles. So I've got draft quote and quote. I don't like capital letters, so I've got caps and lowercase here. Where's the logo going to be? The logo is going to be at the left, that's fine. And then if you scroll down, there's a section here, the terms for a quote. So I filled in here, here are our standard quote terms, but you would actually put what your terms are. So how long the quote is valid for, what happens after the quote's accepted, when your customer will be invoiced, when, when you will expect them to pay. All the typical information you would expect on a quote. Once you're happy with that, you just click the green save, and then that's you ready to get started with preparing quotes in zero. If you found that useful, I would appreciate a thumbs up and why don't you subscribe to the channel so that you can get notified of our new videos as and when they appear. Until next time, happy zeroing.